Blue Angel 1, Pack 1-1. One, one. You know, when did you know you wanted to be a pilot? You know, I, I knew I wanted to fly at a very early, early age. I mean, I was no different than, 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 than any young child now. I, I think most kids uh, are absolutely, you know, thrilled by the thought of flight, you know, aviation, things that make noise, things that go fast, and I was no different than that. Than that. Uh, both my father and grandfather dabbled in general aviation, so I was, uh, you know, exposed to aviation quite a bit. Uh, but, uh, you know, I just always knew I wanted to fly. And, and as I got older, I knew I wanted to fly for the military. I thought jet fighters was, was, was the greatest thing on the planet, and I wanted to do that. I just didn't know that I wanted to be a naval aviator until I saw, believe it or not, a movie called Top Gun in 1986. And I said, that's it. I want to take off and land on aircraft carriers, and I want to be a, a member of an elite for a, a pilot. And that's why I wanted to do it. You found your passion. You know, I, I did, I did, but you know, we, we always talk about that. I think the great thing about military aviation is every branch of the service thinks they're the best, and that's great, because it, it makes them work very hard. Uh, I think that U.S. military aviation is a very elite, uh, elite collection of pilots, uh, and I think they're considered elite throughout the world. And we in the Navy take, take great pride in the fact that we take off and land on aircraft carriers, that we have a place called Top Gun, that, that we can go and refine our skills, uh, and that we have an organization like the, like the Blue Angel. Well, I'm very proud to be a member of the Blue Angels because I think that everything the Blue Angels represents is what's great about our U.S. military. Pride, professionalism, honor, courage, commitment. These are all great things, and that's what we represent. Did you have along the way an obstacle? Did somebody tell you you couldn't fly? Well, absolutely. You know, when, when, I, when I went to college, I went to a small military college in South Carolina called the Citadel. Uh, when I showed up there, you know, Gal got in there, all, all the cadets said, how many of you clowns want to fly? Jets. Every hand of the room went up and said, well, no kid. You know, we'll get in line because every year we get one flight slot for all the graduates who made one flight slot. So I'm like, wow, uh, it's impossible. And you remember, we're right on the heels of Top Gun. Uh, the movies come out, and the, 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 the recruiting offices are, are exploding. Uh, everyone wants to be a fighter pilot, and that was great. So, uh, so I sat down with my with my Navy ROTC instructor and said, "How do I do this?" He says, "You got to have a technical major. You got to be, be the number one guy in your class." Four years from now, if that's it. If, if those two things haven't happened, then you don't have a chance. So I signed up to be a civil engineer, uh, and I studied my butt off. And I was also a, a you know a, a, a soccer player, so I played you know, Division One soccer at the same time. I was uh, and it was it was a tremendous challenge. But I'll tell you, it made me work very hard. Uh, and it made me, uh, made me set a goal and really work hard to get that goal. And I think that's important for young kids today is, is that you can't just kind of drift around. If you have something that you want to do, uh, you need to set a series of, of wicked goals. It, it all starts with school. It starts in the classroom. Uh, and it's not that it's absolutely important that the subject matter you're, you learn, you're going to apply every day of your life for the rest of your life. What you're learning, you do well in the classroom, is you're learning those basic survival skills, time management, study skills how to decide what's the priority for you to work on at this point in time. And those skills you learn in elementary school are going to apply in high school, and those skills you learn in high school are really going to apply in college. You do well in college, no matter what your major is, you're going to have a leg up in, in later on in life. All of those things apply in the military. The other thing I tell guys, other than working doing well in the classroom, is play team sports or get involved in clubs. Uh, you know, as a team sport, you're, learned, you, you're taught at a very early age to Put aside your individual desires and make small sacrifices for the team. You know, you're learning how to be a team member before you're learning how to be a leader. And then once you become an expert at being a team member, then you start developing those leadership skills. And most people don't understand that, that you're learning these skills at a very young age and you don't even know that you're learning. Uh, and those skills apply, uh, apply across the board. Uh, you learn the same thing in clubs, whether it's uh, school clubs or, or you know, scouts. Um, Know, any sort of any sort of community clubs that you're involved in, uh, those are all really great great things, and they'll make you they'll they'll really fine tune your engine to succeed in, uh, in life. Can you give a shout out to Interlakes High School? I, I absolutely absolutely will. To uh, Interlakes uh, High School, uh, Captain Greg Porter, commanding officer and flight leader for the 2010 Blue Angels, on behalf of 130 sailors and Marines, uh, we wish you the best. Work hard, uh, and hopefully we'll see some of you young men and women in the fleet uh, five or ten years from now. Good luck. I bet you will. Absolutely. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky like shooting stars? I can't
Could really use a wish right now, wish right now, wish right now. Could we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? I could really use a wish right now, wish right now, wish right now. Right now. 